Hello everyone. One of the followers asked my, for my help uh, in drawing this three-dimensional truss that you can see in front of you in Abacus. So since we are concentrating on drawing only, we will go through only two models, modules, which are um, the part module and a simple module. Now, in, under, in order to understand how can we do that, let's just review this three-dimensional truss. So as you can see, this truss is consists of upper steel beam and lower steel beam this each steel beam cross section is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters and the thickness of walls is 0.38 centimeter these two beams as you can see here they are filled with concrete on the top and on the bottom in addition to that we have two corner uh, columns or members these members, they are um, also 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters uh, with thickness point of 0.38 uh, centimeter. This is a hollow section and this is a hollow section also. For the inclined members and vertical members in the middle, um, the dimensions of these members are 8 centimeters by 8 centimeters and the thickness as well it's 0.38 centimeter only and they are hollow sections only so what i will do actually i will try to make it as simple as i can so i will draw the the steel the top and lower steel members together then i will draw the um, the filling concrete for both of them together and we will have uh, this vertical member separate one and we will have this is another one another vertical member and this will be the fourth one so let's try to do it um, i will go to the part module and i will create part uh, this part will called steel beams and it's a three-dimensional um, member and i will make the approximate size to be 100 that's what you think that will be enough Okay, apologize for uh, my computer is a little bit slow here. Okay, so as you can see, we need to draw this beam and this beam. Actually, we are like doing like side view looking from this direction. So these are the dimensions that we have. To take in consideration okay so I will start in 0 0 and I will end at 10 10 this is 10 by 10 uh, centimeters beam and it will be a hollow beam so that hollow beam to draw it I will draw a smaller um, rectangle with dimensions started in 0 0.38 0 0.38 and 9.62 by 9.62 and now this is our first beam we need to repeat the same thing for the upper beam and as you can see here the upper beam will have started from if this is our zero um, point this is the point of origin zero zero let's assume that it's here <coughs> So the height of that beam will be 40 centimeters, started in 40 centimeters and ends in 50 centimeters. So what I will do actually is to draw another rectangle started in 40, 40 and oops, that's narrow. Let's do it again. Actually, it should start 0, 40 and ends in in x direction it will be only 10 and in y direction will be 50 oh that's right also i will draw another one inside it so remember that let's do uh, let's show the distances here to understand where, where we are so this will be 10 centimeters this will be another 10 centimeters and the distance from here to here it's 50 centimeter and from here to here it's 40 centimeters it's just like what we have here this is the 40 centimeter 
from here to here and 50 centimeters from our point of origin to the top of the top steel beam. Okay, now we need to make the hollow section here. How can we do that? It will start the start of the, the, that uh, rectangle in, in, inside it will start by 40.38. So let's draw that rectangle. It will start by 40.38. Uh, that's the y direction. Okay, so in x direction it will be 0.38 only, and y direction is 40.38. Okay, that's great. Now in x direction will be 9.62, and in y direction will be 50 minus 0.38, which is 49.62. And here we go. This is the other inside rectangle. Okay, I will press on this x say it's done dismiss it okay so let's just delete these dimensions that you will not need them anymore okay done done and the depth that we need for that beam we will take it from here which is equal to I will measure it starting from this point ending at this point and you can, as you can see it is 266 centimeter so that will be our depth and by pressing on OK we have these two top and bottom steel beams as, as you can see them they are hollow from inside okay or we can just press this one and this one so we are doing well. Now, we need to draw the concrete beams, which will be inside these hollow sections. So concrete beams will be the name. And what I will try to do is directly from this point, I will draw them in their correct, cor uh, correct um, position. So I will not need to move them inside the assembly model try to make it simpler to myself okay so remember these will be inside the hollow sections so i will draw the cross section of the concrete beam which will start in 0 0.38 0 0.38 and ends in 2.26 9.26 oh actually it should be 62 i think yeah Okay, so this is the first concrete beam, and I will draw another one. The other one will start it in x direction 0.38, and in y direction it will be 40.38. Uh, Let's see it. Okay, we are zooming out to see it, and it will end in in x direction 9.62 and in y direction will be 49.62 and this is the two concrete beams and the depth of these concrete beams will be also 266 and these are our concrete beams what else that we need we need the corner uh, the corner members and the vertical medical member and we need the incline numbers. We still have to draw these also, these three numbers as well. So, um, starting with the corner number. Okay. So, to understand what I'm talking about, actually, I want to draw this member. Keep in consideration that I'm looking from this view. So what I will see if I'm looking from this direction is uh, a column. Um, a column, its dimensions will be the depth of this member, which is 10 centimeter, and the length will be 30 centimeter. And it will be like in this depth, it will be 10 centimeters. So this is what I'll draw. Um, in, I will start it in zero, zero. And I have to move in x direction 10 and in y direction 30 
and this is our vertical number, the corner one. Okay, X, done, and the depth of that one will be this, 10 centimeters, but it should be like um, a hollow section. In order to do that, I will choose this, create cut extrude, and I will choose this uh, surface and this direction, and you have to know that the distance from here to here it is 10 centimeters so this 10 centimeters this is the origin so the distance from here to here will be minus 5 and from here to here it is um, 5 uh, that will help me in drawing um, the internal rectangle how can I do that? it's very easy um, so I will say that the distance from here to here it's 5 minus 0.38 it will be 4.62 okay and it will be in minus so I will start in minus 4.62 minus 4.62 and this is what I started in and I will end in 4.62 4.62 and this is what I want to do. Okay, so I'll hit X and done. And I will cut through all. So I'll hit OK. And voila. There we go. This is what I want to do. Great. Now, as I done with the corner member, I need to draw um, the other vertical middle member. So I will name it like middle member and it will be just as the corner member but it will be smaller in direction. So if I will start in 0, 0 and end in 8 and 30. X done and the depth will be 8 centimeters then I will choose the same thing. I will try to cut inside it. And since this is only 4 centimeters, so what I will do is to start with minus 3.62, minus 3.62, and ends in 3.62, 3.62, and X, done, and I will cut it through all, and here we go. I will say that the most difficult part will be the inclined part. So let's start with that. This is the inclined member. And that's it. Continue. Okay. So in order to do that, I will see something here. This is what I want to draw actually. Okay. There we go. So this is the inclined member. It's inclined with a degree of 54 degrees, okay? And this is the length of that number. It is 37.08 centimeters. The height will be 30 centimeters and the width will be 9.89. So these other dimensions that I draw here, it's um, just to help me in order to draw it. So I will consider that I will start from this point, drawing this line, then this line, this line, and ends with this line. And I will do it in the negative part uh, of our drawing pad. Okay, so I will consider this point is 30 centimeters height and zero in x direction. Okay, so this is what I'm doing here. I will draw a line started in zero in x and 30 in height okay then I have to move in this direction with this length which is 9.89 so I will move towards a point uh, minus 9.89 in x direction and I'm still in 30 centimeters height then after that I will move to here so in x direction actually i moved this amount 31.68 
minus 31.68 and in y direction m in zero great then i will go back in this direction by this amount so actually i moved from okay let's see how can we move. we move this amount which is 21.8 so it will be in x direction um, minus 21 point was it or eight or what eight point eight and in y we still zero and then we will end at this point I think that's pretty good hit done and the depth will be eight centimeters now how can we cut that in this inclined direction in order to do that i will hit and continue click on that and i will choose this one which is a create cut sweep okay first of all i need to define two things two things here the path of cutting and the profile of cutting so the path will be along this uh, line so i will define an edge and i will choose it i need to cut along this direction there we go is the direction of sweep correct or flip it i will flip it that's fine then i need to sketch the profile so i will choose a sketch and auto calculator specify i need to specify it and i need to specify this exactly the surface so now i will use the measuring tool again to measure this this is 9.89 and this is, should be eight yes eight so again i need to draw a wall thickness of 0.38 by 0.38 so i will need my calculator behind me beside me and um what i need to start is in this point and end at this point so what is the coordinates of this point the car the cartesian coordinates of this point it, it will be um half of this um vertical measurement divided uh, yeah half it should mean this measurement divided by two so it is 9.89 divided by two minus 0.38 so it will be 4.565 and since we are in negative it will be minus okay and so this is what i will do i will create this rectangle um this rectangle will started in x direction x direction remember the whole length is eight centimeters so half of that length is only four okay so the minus the thickness which is 0.38 so it will be 3.62 in minus and in y direction as we said it will be minus 4.565 okay then i will repeat the same coordinates with a positive uh, sign so it will be 3.62 and 4.565 hit x done and choose keep a profile normal constant and say okay voila there you go now i think with that we're done with part module so i will go I, in a property i will talk about that quickly in property you need to define two properties because you have two, uh, two materials we have steel and concrete so we will define the properties of steel and concrete and assign these sections to the concrete sections and uh, steel sections that we have i will not do that i will leave it to you but i will go to assembly module and i will go to create instance and choose all of these parts say okay and now we need to adjust that as you can see this is what i did from the beginning 
these two steel beams are in their right position and we have the concrete members inside them so we reduced a huge amount of work on us now what we need to do is to adjust the others other members and put them in their right place okay so I will choose translate instance this is my corner column or corner corner member and I will hit done then what I need to do actually let's do it in this way okay so you see now I will move it in two directions this is the the origin this is X Y and this is Z so I will choose this point to translate it to be here this is the first movement okay now we need to move it in this direction there we go I need to move it in this direction for five centimeters so how can I do that let's flip it you know, it's a little bit confusing so forgive me but soon you will have a very nice one okay so what I will do actually I will translate it translate this member and actually I'm I want to translate this point five centimeters in this direction so the coordinates of the new position will be in x direction it will still zero in y direction is the height of this member which is 10 centimeters in z direction i want to move five centimeters only so i will choose five and hit enter and here we go this is the correct position of the number so I will hit OK now what I want to do I want to repeat this member here okay so I can do it in this way I will measure the distance between this point and this point and it's 246 centimeter 246 centimeter okay how can I do that now I will choose linear pattern and I will select this member done I don't need to create four members I want to create only two members so we have this member and this member now I will choose the direction that I need to create the pattern on and this direction will be in now in this direction and the offset will be this amount which is 246 246 say okay and there we go very nice okay now I will do the other oh I forgot yes I want to go in this direction now I need to move the other vertical uh, uh, middle members and put them in their positions here so how can I do that I will do it in two way uh, two movements so just to make it very simple to me or I can do it actually in one movement so I will just translate and choose the number that I want to translate it then choose the point the reference point so I will choose this one and now we need to define the coordinations of the new position so I will go over these coordinates one by one remember that the, the width of, of this beam is 10 centimeters while the width of of the instance that we want to move is eight centimeters so actually we will shift it a little bit in x direction in one only so that will left like one centimeter from here and one centimeter from here okay that's great in y it will be 10 centimeters which is the height of this beam and in x direction we will move it 
let's see it. Okay. The first one will be at a distance 47 centimeters. So I will choose 47 and hit enter and it's now in its place. That's great. So I will hit OK. Now, in order to create the other uh, mem vertical middle members here, I will choose again the linear pattern. So I will choose this instance and create. I don't need four, I need only two. And I have to specify the direction. And then I need to specify the offset. And the offset, as can we see here, it's 41 centimeters. And how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, and five. So on 41 centimeter, 41, right? Yes, 41. I need to see five members. And here we go. That's very nice. Now we need to move this instance, the inclined one. So I will translate it. And let's take a look here. It will be here. Okay. So we need to put this point to be here. Let's see it. Let's take a look at it. Oops. Okay, that doesn't work. First of all, we need to rotate it. So this is what I will do. I will rotate it around Y direction. Okay, so choose this rotate, choose the instance, done. And now select the start point for the axis of rotation. The X of rotation, we says that axis of rotation will be the Y direction. So I will choose this point and this point and I rotate it in 90 degrees okay now it has been rotated in 90, 90 degrees great so I will hit OK take a look again on our drawings so we need to put it here so I will translate it translate this member so this external point will be located the new location for that point will be okay will be here and let's let's take a look super so I will hit okay now we are doing one, well, doing well. So I will need to repeat that movement to create the other incline member here and here. So I will choose creating a linear pattern uh, and we'll choose to do this one. As we said, we don't need this one. We need to define the direction and we need to define the offset and the offset will be if the offset between this column and sorry this vertical number and this vertical number is 41 so the movement from here to here will be twice of that so it will be 82 there we go and let's create the third one and that's great now what we need to do is to do the inclined member in this direction and in order to do that I will create an instance uh, sorry I will um, create the linear uh, pattern for this one and I will move it in this direction uh, this one I'll move it in this direction for 41 centimeters okay now I need to flip it this is a little bit hard so I need to flip this one in order to flip it that means that I want to rotate it 
around which axis? Is it this one, or this one, or the third one? Hmm. So, I will rotate it around this axis by 90 degrees. Well, 90 degrees is not enough. So let's try 180. So I will rotate this one around this axis by 180. Great! Okay, now I will move it. So I will translate this number. So this point, the new location of this point will be here. Okay, and here we go. What we need to do now is to repeat it here and here. So create a linear pattern to this instance. Done. Um, okay, so I will choose this one, find the direction, which will be in this direction, and the distance will be 82, so you can see the new one here, and this is the third one, and voila, there we are going. This is our three-dimensional truss. So thank you for watching this video and wait for our new coming video. Thank you.